Hello, hello. This video to celebrate me figuring out how to reformat my SD card and get my camera working again. In celebration of that, I'm going to make a cooking video where I take this yakisoba and I'm going to doctor it up a little bit just because it's like, you know. It's not like legit, okay? So I'm gonna add some chicken to it. I think I'm gonna try breading the chicken a little bit. Cause last time I went to a Japanese restaurant and got yakisoba, the chicken in there was breaded. Got some pea science. Ah. Okay, I patted the chicken dry. I think that's just what you're supposed to do. I'm making a guess here. Um, yeah, so I patted it dry, and I think it needs to be even drier. I think I need, I need to do like the egg flour, egg flour breadcrumbs thing. Oh, they're only Italian style. Is that gonna Italian style breadcrumbs in a Japanese dish? Let's see how Italian could these breadcrumbs be. I'm gonna go for it. I'm breading the chicken. Anyway, I was doing flour eggs, flour eggs, ending on eggs, and then doing breadcrumbs. So far I made three. But I have no clue how long to bake these because I'm not following anything. Okay. I feel like they need a little oil or something. And I think I'm even gonna kinda like crumble this. Well, wait, I'm just going to make this yakisoba now. Just put the dry vegetables. Okay, that's preheated. I'm freezing. Minnesota is cold. But this yakisoba will warm you up. Oh my gosh. If you want minimal cooking, make your own breaded chicken and add it to some microwavable noodles. More protein. Pretty good. Actually, I'm trying to get That's really good. Oh my gosh. It's Saturday today. It's my birthday weekend. And Ben and I are going to go to Duluth. So, Bentleyville is going on, which is like the Christmas light tour event thing. I think there's also like some sort of like holiday winter markets going on or something. So I'm hoping to find a few things. Maybe like a few little Christmas gifts for people, but I'm pretty much already done Christmas shopping. And I want to find like some good honey and some good maple syrup. And maybe like a cute little ornament. Like a Bentley built ornament for our tree to remember the trip. So. That's what today is going to consist of. Should be fun. I'll try to document as much as I can because I know it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> Are you feeling 24? Oh my gosh. Stop turning this off. No, no. Are you feeling 24? Yes. I've already been telling people that I've been 24 for a little while, so. I'm drinking juice. Oh, for good.
Holy moly. up my maple syrup and we got an ornament that says what does it even say happy holidays Bentleyville but we got it at Bent Paddle Brewing we didn't even get it at Bentleyville but it's perfect because that was the other thing I wanted was an ornament and they just gave this to us for free at the brewery and it's really cute it's like almost like a little embroidered patch really cute 